All right, so our next page has a fabric pocket at the bottom. So I'm going to grab the piece of design paper that I'm going to use for the back cover. good to me. So we're going to set this aside and this is the piece of ribbon or fabric design that I used on my other uh, baby girl album. So I'm going to go ahead and use the same. Just going to get it to where it has a little bit overage so it can tuck behind it and then we'll sew it in place. Let me cut this down. So I'm going to flip mine over and we're going to add some score tape on each side and the bottom. Just estimating the height of my ribbon here. Alright, so I'm going to pull the tape off. Let's just start with the sides. So I don't want this to stick to the paper I have underneath it. So I'm just going to make sure I got the right side for starters. And then I'm going to take the side and stick it to that score tape we just used. Or grab the other side, make it a little snug, but not tight enough that it curls your paper. take this piece off and fold it over. We are going to be stitching around our page so this is just to hold it in place. If you get a little um, too much in your corners you can just trim it off a bit. I should have ironed it first. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and, well, my little corner is still poking out. Put some glue on it. All right, so I'm going to put in my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch around all four corners. So I did the stitching, if y'all can see it, all the way around the page. And now I'm just going to go through and do some decorations up in this uh, left-hand corner. I have some um, little sticker that I'm going to use from the paper collection. And I have these little teddy bears. I think I got them at Michael's. So I'm just going to see what I can come up with.
to the next page. Alright, so starting for our next page, um, this is the paper that I want to use, so I'm going to go ahead and mark it to its size. So we have our page and then I'm going to use this for my flap. Um, on the girl album it was going this way but if you can see the design, I'd already cut it out earlier without realizing it. The design is this way so we're going to go ahead and get some white card stock and work with it. So I'm just going to lay my paper with about a sixteenth of an inch border around. We're going to cut the bottom. I'm going to leave this side like it is for now. So we could, that's going to be our side that our hinge is on. Alright, I'm just going to use some um, glue stick to put this down because we're going to stitch around the edges anyway. So that will adhere it. When we do the sewing, it'll sit in place. So put that down and get your scoreboard on the board. I'm sorry, I never told you this. It's five by seven, just like our other ones. Our my blue paper is five by seven, and then so with a little bit of border around all our four sides, I um, ended up scoring at five and a half. So there we are. See, I have a little white border around. And this tab's pretty good. I'm just going to cut it down a little bit. I'm going to make it down to about an inch. <clears throat> All right, these little photo mats that I want to use. I have six of them. A little journaling one. Oh, guess I have a lot more than I thought. Alright, we have eight. So let's, I'm just going to go ahead and use um, six of them. I'll put the journaling one, this one aside. I'm going to use these. All right, so we want to get some more white card stock. And I'm just going to use scrap pieces for right now. My little piece is three by four. So let's take and uh, get us a piece of paper. Actually, let me get a 12 by 12 piece of white cardstock. Okay, so we're going to take our paper and we're going to cut it at four. And then the next little mark, which I guess is a sixteenth. So four and one sixteenth. And then again, four and one sixteenth. Okay. 
So here I have it on the 12 inch side and our pictures are going to go like so. So I want to score it at 3 and 1 16 6 and 1 16 and then 9 and 1 16 we'll see how this works out got our page. We have our flap. I'm going to go ahead and glue it in place. I'm going to glue it about an inch from the top. It does not have to be perfect. And what we're going to do here is, when we open this, and I forgot to stitch it. I'll stitch it before we put these down. We're going to have this down, and then it's going to fold out this way and this way. And we'll put all our little pieces on here. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do the stitching and then find the back and then I uh, will be back with you. Alright, so I have all the stitching done around the edges. I don't know if that comes up for y'all. I'm doing this at night time so it's a little bit dark. So I'm going to go ahead and glue down the back piece of my flap. underneath and I want mine to pop up like this so I'm going to go ahead and put this little journaling card as my first one page and I have these little borders so I think I'm going to go ahead and use one well, they're not very tall are they I 
The tallest one is the one that matches. I wonder if it'll get lost. Oh well. I'll think about that. If you want to do one for yours, then do a little pocket right there. Um, the closure that I had used on the girl album was the baby pin that we used before. Sorry. I should, should have had it out and ready. My apologies. So you can put it anywhere you want, top. I think I might, since I'm going to do my flowers up in this corner, I may do it somewhere around here. So I'm going to adhere that down with the little um, brad, just like we did the previous one, and then find what flowers that I want and start to lay those down. So I found this little congratulations um, on my sticker pad and I put some white cardstock on the back. So I'm just going to make a little tuck spot. Let's see. Yeah. By putting it here, I'm just going to put some glue. Wow. I don't want to touch that. Let's see. going to put it on the ends. Make sure I don't get it in that fold, which I almost did a second ago. And then that way if you have something, matter of fact, we'll just leave that one right there. Ain't it cute? Alright. And then we fold over. I'm going to take my say my baby pin we're going to put it about right there next page I've already cut out my cardstock to match the size of my page and on the um, girls album we did a little bit um, we did a belly band so next I took from my scraps you may have also uh, white cardstock that was is 12 
and five inches wide and I ran it through uh, Martha Stewart punch looks like little seashells they don't really have a name on it and I have this design so I'm just going to eyeball it up against my cardstock and I'm just going to fold it over the edges. Try and keep it straight. Oh, come on. Not exactly straight, is it? Let's see. All right. Then I have some uh, my designer card stock, and what I'm trying to do is I'm going to cut it. I want it to be inside the uh, trimmed edge on both ends. So I'm just going to make a little mark and cut that. Got ribbon and stuff falling everywhere. So I'm good side to side. I want a little bit of a white border on top and bottom. So I'm going to line it up and make a mark and cut. I use some circle die cuts to make mine. I need a way. I have these um, cottage cottage cut stitched circle set. If you have something that um, you could use like a ribbon edge and draw a circle around it and try and cut it like that. I actually don't remember what size circle I used. Let me check. It's one of these. So my circle is, on the inside, it is two and three quarters of an inch. So I have my vagabond right here. So I'm just going to run that through a little washi tape to keep it in place. still perfect. It's bugging me. <laughs> I 
I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. I'm just glue, putting glue on my little flap and try and get this thing straight. That's better than what it was. Okay, for this one, make sure I got my papers. I want to be able to slide one end so you can get to the little circles. So I'm only going to put glue on three sides. Matter of fact, let's use score tape. Well, I did. I put, I even checked it and I put the score tape on the wrong side. Alright. We'll go ahead and put it down and Okay, so mine, you're going to put pictures on that side. Slide pictures in from that side because I went a little crooked. this ribbon that I got from Amazon um, just pick out a ribbon and I put it around on the top be sure not to accidentally get glue and stick your top to your bottom and um, I'm gonna go around both circles and then put on uh, the embellishments that I want
next page, uh, I had mentioned it when I did the uh, walkthrough of the girl album, but I used this Dusty Attic um, Wattle Blossoms, W-A-T-T-L-E Blossoms, and I painted them white, and then I put little um, opal essence, I guess that'd be the best color to describe it, um, sequins on each one of the little um, balls. They kind of, to me, they look like balloons. I don't know what a wattle blossom is, but um, I like that it kind of was a little playful, looked like a balloon. I did see they had, um, someone in Etsy had like two of them left. If y'all wanted to check that out, I'll try and remember to put it uh, her link <clears throat> in the description for this video only. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Paint them white, add the sequence, and then we'll get everything else together. Alright, for our next page, I have the paper that I want to use, and I've cut it to fit inside my page. I like this one's cute. The little trains with the little ducks and such. So on this page there is a side flap. So if you can grab a piece of white cardstock and first we want to make our mark the same exact um, height of your page. go and for the width we are going to do it at five and a half inches wide and then take your scoreboard and we're going to place our paper on the five and a half inch side and we are going to score it, make sure I got it straight, at half of an inch. So this one is going to go on the right side of the page. And then I'm just going to flip mine over and I'm going to put the word magnet because a lot of times I forget. Like the last page we just did, I forgot to, um, I forgot to sew around the corners before I put all the, um, embellishments and flaps and everything. So it's too late. The only page that didn't have stitching on it. So uh, this is the paper I want to use for the front. So I'm just going to mark it around. I want um, a sixteenth of an eight, sixteenth of an inch gap around all sides. So I'm just going to mark that and cut it out. You could, yeah, you can tell. That sucker's crooked. I don't know what happened. I must not have had it flat. Yeah, that was definitely crooked. Alright, now for the bottom. So now, before 
before I forget this time. Um, I'm going to do stitching all around, around this side, and then the paper that I want to put on the inside. I'm not sure what I'm going to use, but I will stitch that also and then uh, get back with you. Okay, so I have all of my stitching done and my back piece that I'm going to use. So let's go ahead and start putting this together. Go ahead and add glue on your tab. that paper all the way up to the score line. Maybe we will. <laughs> and you can do a um, ribbon closure or, well this thing does not want to stay. Do a ribbon closure or one of those little um, baby pin swing tabs. I am going to do a magnet. I'll put that there. And then page for the back of our flap. We're going to close that, flip it over, find where our magnet is. And I'm going to put some glue and some score tape on there to keep it in place. And I'm going to go ahead. I painted my little wattle blossom. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in place and start putting down all of my embellishments.
beach. I have the design cardstock that I want to use. Um, it should be correct top to bottom, 12 inches. So I just need to measure for the width. So I'm going to lay this down. Now this one, last page, has a flap at the top. It's a pretty big flap. that. So get some white cardstock. I'm going to measure from side to side. same chipboard piece that I use on the baby girl album which makes me a little sad because it was so cute and I had it for so long I have no idea where I got it from. So I have this one which also I've been having for a while. Scrapping whatever. Decorative chipboard scrap any now so I'm gonna use it so I need to check my height. I think we're probably going to go about six inches. Oh, come on, guy. Yeah, let's cut our paper six and a half inches. And then take our scoreboard and on the six and a half side score it at half of an inch. to put on my flap. And our flap is going to go up like this. We, um, on my other one, I used a ribbon closure, so I'm just going to mark ribbon so I don't forget. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out my paper to fit inside my flap with the 1 16th inch of the white around and stitch around all the corners and my flaps and then we'll be back. Alright, so I have all of my stitching done around my page and around my flap. So, my ribbon closure. Let's see what we got. Let's go ahead and glue this flap down. Get a good measurement.
go ahead and do mine about 12 inches. And of course we need two of them. So I'm just going to kind of guesstimate at the center. And then I have my piece that I want to put on the inside flap that has the stitching on it. I get my little tire faces the right direction. All right, let me just flip that. <laughs> there we go. Now, a little piece of thread. There we go. I'm just going to pull this straight and flip it over. And that's where we'll put the other piece of ribbon. going to go through and start uh, putting on my embellishments.
finally got it. I don't know if y'all could tell by fast forwarding, but I was having trouble with this page. Um, couldn't kind of get my mojo. <laughs> couldn't kind of get it right. Um, I think I'm okay with it. Um, I left it open on one side. I only glued it on the two sides so you can put a picture underneath it. I'm going to do what I normally do when I get kind of stuck with my embellishments and stuff. I'm just going to let it sit here for a little while and I'm going to walk away and I may come back and change it up some more and then we will get our last page done. Alright, I finished my last page. I left the embellishment um, as it was and went ahead and put everything in and then I also went through and made um, little photo mats different sizes with all the scraps that I had and put down in the pocket and I'm really happy about how it turned out for with the different paper and little boy theme um, I also like the front um, on my pink album which I had mentioned in my um, walkthrough on it I didn't like the curve on this one so <clears throat> we did fix it where it's nice and straight um, I hope that y'all understood everything correctly if y'all have any questions please just leave a comment and let me know but most of all please share a picture of your album so I can see how yours went and what um, embellishments and changes that you did to make it yours so I will talk to y'all when the next album comes out